They don't really pre-spawn stuff. Them old fish on these bright blue days like this, they'll pull up on them rocks in a blink. Well, how about that for a spotted bass? Shoot, I'm in Alabama, got a big old spot. Must be something about Alabama and me when it comes to big spotted bass. <laughs> That's a nice one for Gunnersville. Built a lot like me, short and squatty. Kind of coming at me, all right, little guy. A humpy. He's got, had some physical ailments at some time in his life. Another one jump on as soon as it hit the dang water. These little post spawn, I mean, pre spawn stuff like this when. You, you got to consider there are little wads of them, you know, almost always when you get them good and pre-spawn, there'd be little old clusters of them. And they're fun to catch when they're biting, but when they're not biting, they're a booger because they're bunched up. They're not just spread all out, you know, and you can't just take off slinging and catch them a lot of times. You got to be very precise. Like this classic on Gunnersville showed very much, you know, you think about who didn't catch them. Okay, so, you know, that tells me, you know, you could be all around them and still not get a bite, not catch them. And that, that's, you know, like I say, pre-spawn's a lot of people's real, you know, oh yeah, that's my favorite time. My God, let me tell you something. They're wadded up when it's cold pre-spawn, you know. And when I say pre-spawn, these fish are very pre-spawn. They're a month, month and a half away from doing it. And, uh, and like I say, the only problem with that is, just don't forget, they are in a bunch. And if you miss that bunch by about 10 foot, you might not even know they're even there. And that, like I say, that really, that really showed in this classic here. I mean, you know, Randy fished in a, Randy fished in a spot that was, you know, about a 20 yard stretch of riprap. And, and like I say, can't flatter himself to think that he's the only guy that throwed at riprap this week, you know. He just threw it at the right 20 yards, you know. But on any given day, those that little 20 yard stretch could move and then you'd have to re-hunt them down. And sometimes, like I say, them little, little wads ain't easy to find. Check us out at wired2fish.com.